old peasants um, to sad day in America. Um, I know a lot of you out there right now are confused. You know, you're uh, racking your brains trying to figure out if we even have a justice system at all. Um, but I don't want any of you out there to worry, okay? Because I'm from the government, and I'm here to help. Um, me, me and Jerry Nadler are launching a full investigation on his underwear. I mean, his, um, I mean, the, uh, <laughs> the, the child verdict. Um, and we're going to find the truth, right? Um, we've already made some major breakthroughs, you know? You see, Kyle didn't just drive to Kenosha that night. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, Kyle had been planning this his entire life, you know? It's like, when, when, when Kyle was two years old, we found out that he blew out his birthday candles and he made a wish. And Kyle wished to be the best white supremacist the world has ever seen. You know, and um, it looks like Kyle's wish came true. Um, and my heart is broken uh, to, uh, for the two heroes that lost their life um, because of white supremacy. Um, sorry, um, yeah, those two upstanding citizens who never caused any problems are up in heaven with my favorite American, George Floyd. <laughs> Thank you, George, for taking care of these two American heroes. <laughs> I know that they're in good hands with you. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I, I promised myself I wasn't going to do this. Um, keep it together, Nancy. You can do this. Um. As a child, Kyle would often yell at white people on his uh, way to school. He would shout at them and, and say, Hey, get away from me! You're not welcome! And his dream was to be the most famous white supremacist in America. And on that night in August, in Kenosha, Kyle, uh, he lived out his fantasy. Um, Kyle traveled 17,000 miles by plane. He rented a helicopter and then used a submarine to take him to his underground hideout, where he kept all his weapons. He, uh, he watched Rambo, and, and then he played Call of Duty for 30 minutes. And then, Kyle was ready. Once Kyle loaded up his rocket launcher, he took a boat to where he was secretly hiding the tank that he stole from the U.S. military. And then he drove that tank to Kenosha to destroy an entire city. This man is a criminal. And should be in prison. And I won't sleep. So he has served out a life sentence. And the two heroes up in heaven, we will build statues in your honor. You two have changed the world. That's all for now. Good night, peasants. <laughs>